Initially, there was an infinitely dense mass of matter. This mass underwent an explosion that gave rise to the formation of atoms, molecules, stars, and galaxies that we can observe today. For decades, this has been the explanation offered by physicists. However, recent research has introduced a new vantage point that suggests the universe has not as early an origin as initially believed. Instead, it may be part of a cyclical process in which the universe goes through a series of cycles of expansion and contraction, possibly in an infinite loop. Brian Cox, a renowned physicist, has also raised doubts about the Big Bang theory, arguing that it cannot result in anything from nothing. This questioning adds an intriguing element to the discussion. In addition, Research from the James Webb Telescope has revealed information that opposes the idea that the Big Bang marked the absolute beginning of the universe. This leads to the fundamental question, if the Big Bang was not the beginning of the cosmos, then what was? Join us on this journey to the beginnings of the cosmos, where we will explore the frontiers of the Big Bang and answer this question and many more. If you are interested in keeping up to date with news about the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, share this video to reach more people, and turn on the notification bell. Scientists have developed a detailed understanding of the universe in its earliest stages, referred to as the Big Bang Theory. The universe in this model was much smaller, hotter, and denser than it is now, around 13.8 billion years ago. During that period, all the elements that make up our world were formed in a matter of minutes. In this theory, our universe, including galaxies and stars, formerly weighed as little as a peach and had an extremely high temperature of over a quadrillion degrees. Interestingly, this remarkable narrative fits together in accordance with all current observations. Astronomers have investigated everything from the remnant electromagnetic radiation of the early universe to the abundance of the smallest components and have discovered that everything agrees with the predictions of the Big Bang. To the best of our knowledge, this description fits the perfect reality of our universe. However, despite its apparent robustness, we know that the Big Bang theory is not the complete picture. There's a missing piece to this puzzle, and that piece is an understanding of the first moments of the universe. This challenge is due, in large part, to the limitations of the physical theories that we use right now. The combination of general, relativity, and high-energy particle physics gives us an important conceptual framework, but as we go deeper into the initial moments of the cosmos, the level of mathematical complexity rises significantly, reaching a point at which our current Methods cannot provide meaningful solutions. One of the indications of this difficulty is the existence of a singularity, a point of infinite density at the beginning of the universe. This idea suggests, literally, that the Big Bang was a state where the universe was pushed together into an infinitely small and dense state, which seems absurd. To address this challenge, we need to explore new frontiers in physics propose an approach that gets around these restrictions and provide a more complete understanding of the very beginning of our universe. Current theoretical frameworks and instruments are not robust enough to address this challenge, so we need to develop new physics that can encompass and explain gravity and the other fundamental forces at very high energy levels. This is precisely where string theory comes in. String theory aspires to be a physical model capable of unifying gravity with the other fundamental forces, especially at ultra-high energies. In essence, string theory posits that it can provide an explanation for the first moments of the universe. Within, string theory arises the concept of an ekparotic universe, which takes its name from the Greek word meaning conflagration or fire. This idea suggests that the Big Bang, in its current form, was the result of an earlier event, implying that it was not an entirely new beginning, but rather a part of an ongoing process. Extending the notion of an ekparotic universe is the development of a related theory called cyclic cosmology. Although the idea of a cyclic universe has been considered for millennia, string theory provides a solid mathematical foundation for this idea. In the framework of cyclic cosmology, 
the universe functions as if it perpetually oscillates between large explosions and collapses in an endless cycle that extends infinitely into the past and future. This theory of cyclic cosmology was proposed by the eminent physicist Roger Penrose, who was awarded the Nobel Prize. Penrose was intrigued by a remarkable mathematical relationship between the early universe, characterized by extreme density, heat, and smallness, and the future state of the universe after the Big Bang, which is characterized as extremely cold, expanded, and devoid of matter. The theory suggests that these two states become mathematically identical when pushed to extreme limits. Although it may seem paradoxical, the total absence of matter could be the driving force behind the creation of all the matter we observe in the universe. From this perspective, the Big Bang originates from what remains, almost imperceptibly, after all the matter in the universe has been completely consumed by black holes that eventually fill with scattered photons in a vast void. The universe emerges from what, from another point of view, essentially approaches nothingness. Although this nothingness is still a form of something that constitutes a physical universe, albeit an empty one, the mystery lies in how the same state can be interpreted as both a dense universe and a cold, empty universe, depending on the point of view. The key to this understanding lies in a complex mathematical technique called conformal transformation, which involves alterations in the geometry of the size of an object while retaining its shape. Roger Penrose showed that the cold, empty state and the hot, dense state can be connected through this transformation. The range transformation aligns their spatio-temporal structures. Despite their differences in size, they can be essentially the same, despite having different sizes. However, Penrose argues that the concept of size loses its relevance under these extreme physical circumstances in cyclic cosmology. A pattern of events emerges from an older cold state to a young hot state. The hot and dense state is present, caused by the previous cold and empty state. However, these causal relationships don't always go as planned. The pattern in terms of the length of time since these extreme states includes both time loss and size, losing their conventional meanings. The cold, empty state and the hot, dense state exist on distinct timelines, which indicates that, from an observer's point of view within their own time frame, the cold, empty state would continue indefinitely. Philosophy and physics are intertwined in this realm of cyclic concepts. The study of the cosmos provides speculative and detailed explanations for the origin of these cycles. However, even if Penrose's cosmology lends credence to ideas, it advances a deeper philosophical question. Where does the physical reality itself come from? How did these cycles come into existence? This leads us to ponder the reason for the existence of something as opposed to nothing, one of the fundamental metaphysical questions. For our purposes of discussion, we will concentrate on the explanations in the realm of physics, which includes three possibilities to consider in exploring the possible beginnings of these cycles. First, there is no tangible explanation for it. Second, it could consist of an infinite number of cycles, where each cycle represents a different universe, and the initial quantum state of each universe is determined in some way by some aspect of the universe that came before it. Finally, there is the choice of a single cycle and a repeating universe, where the beginning of the cycle is explained by a characteristic of its own. These possibilities are attractive because they avoid the need for unrelated occurrences and offer a more intricate explanation in the physical framework. In the realm of physics, Penrose proposes the idea of an endless sequence of cycles influenced by his interpretation of quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, the physical system exists in multiple states simultaneously until it is observed, at which point it collapses into a single state at random. Penrose suggests that each cycle is influenced by random quantum events that give rise to variations between cycles. This concept opens up promising possibilities for experimental physicists, as it suggests the possibility of picking up on minute traces or anomalies in the radiation that remains from the Big Bang.